In this drill we're going to work on releasing the club. So if you find yourself with a club path that's heading fairly straight towards the target line, but you're finding that ball curving way off to the right, it can be caused normally by the hands shutting the club head down, what we call holding the club face off, and leaving us with a very open club face, a club face aiming way right of our, of our target. Now there's certain occasions when you need to have an open club face. If you've got that path working way to the left, then you have to have a club face aiming to the right of that path to get that ball spinning back to the target. But in most cases, what we tend to see is a path that's fairly square, so um, moving relatively uh, parallel to that ball to target line, but with a club face that's aiming quite a long way off to the right. And obviously what that does is then sends that ball starting right of the flag and curving much further to the right. So the aim of this drill is to try and begin to educate the hands and arms how to rotate, how to square that club better. Because if you've been in a pattern of slicing, it's, it's what you don't want to do if you have that club working left is to work on releasing those hands because that will send the ball it will start left and and head even further left and a hooking hooking shot that starts left is a dangerous one so what we've got to try and do is work on getting those forearms to release to relax and that allows the toe of the club to overtake the heel of the club as it's coming through so a good way we can work on achieving that is if we stand with our back to the target golf ball is in line with our heels and we can rotate shoulders will get to about 45 degrees and then from there we're going to make a swing our hips are going to impede us so our hips are going to stop us being able to rotate the body open which is generally what what causes along with arms moving out which causes those path of the club working way to the left this our body in this position stops that happening and what it gets us doing is that feeling of rotating those forearms relaxing those forearms and actually what will happen is we'll close the club face as it's coming through producing a, a bit of a hooking shot so in action as i said facing the uh, or back to the target i can turn to the ball so the shoulders can get to about 45 degrees then i'm going to make a relatively gentle swing you don't want to do this at full speed because you'll you'll hurt yourself so a relatively low speed you can see that nice right to left flying shot and that's a drill that we can use to start to educate those hands and arms into relaxing, releasing, producing a nicely right to left curving golf shot.